Mic check, 2-1. <laughs> Now this is in response to hacky ash journalism from Jason McIntyre, a guy who is, he's either in New York or LA, I forget. But the dude, I, I hate this narrative people run with because people are so hyped about Luca and understandably so, I'm hyped about Luca. But they're so hyped about Luca, they immediately want to put all this attention on him and it's not just the positive it's the negative that can come around it it's the, it's them saying well Luca's already superstar Dennis Smith Jr. looks a little bit out of place and out of sorts right now therefore Dennis Smith Jr. is the problem they need to trade him oh I hear in the locker room they don't like him the teammates don't like him so here's the Jason McIntyre thing uh, that he tweeted out after the game and he didn't even have the balls to tag Dennis Smith Jr. in the whole comment to actually make it like to his attention now Dennis Smith still found the tweet but it's still hack as can be I think he says talked on the radio show last week about the issues teammates have with Dennis Smith no alluding to that further they don't love him selfish they prefer Berea at point guard Carlisle has talked to Smith about this okay again I already covered you're in LA or New York whatever I think you say LA via New York or New York via LA on your profile. I don't care. I don't even really know who you are. You got a blue check mark next to your name, so I guess you're some kind of authority. Dude, I'm never gonna believe what a national media guy says when the local media here who's around the team every damn day doesn't, doesn't support it, doesn't already talk about it or something like that. Now the issues previously, the issues previously regarding like, oh, DeAndre Jordan locker room, I put a little bit more weight in that at the time, even though I still cautioned a little bit of hesitation uh, towards making a judgment, a snap to judgment. The reason I put a little more weight in it is because that came from Tim McMahon, who was around this team for years and years, just like Mark Stein. That's a guy that on the subject of Mavericks, I would tend to put more stock in what they say because they were they are great insiders and have been around the team for a long time. Now, Tim McMahon has also kind of stoked some flames regarding the Dennis Smith stuff as of late and the story regarding as we talked about Dennis Smith this came out on the 23rd talking about how based on other executives around the league believing that the Mavericks are going to shop Dennis Smith Jr. because they don't they again being the other execs don't believe that Luka and Dennis Smith can play together. They're like, yep, this is what's going to happen. And that was just drawn up like it was a factual thing that the Mavericks were shopping Dennis Smith Jr. Like, literally, so much clickbait-ass bullshit came out of this. You saw it everywhere on Facebook. You saw it on Instagram. All these pages that claimed to be, like, NBA fast break or, you know, all these, all these clickbait sites trying to draw something. Their captions are like, the Mavericks are officially shopping Dennis Smith Jr. The hell they... Are. It's called, it's the 23rd of December, everyone's getting ready for the holidays, and it's a slow news cycle for you. So you brought up a story that had already been in the not public eye, but already had been known and discussed for nearly two weeks prior. You're kicking that up now because you want views and you want clicks. And that's trash journalism. Like, hardcore trash journalism. Miss me with that crap. And then after the Pelicans game, you saw it again. Citing the same report from the 23rd, they're talking then on something that happened on the 28th and saying, oh, see right there, it's official. They're doing it. They're gonna shop Dennis Smith Jr. They're done with him. Based on what? It's the same inaccurate report with no substance from a week ago. You're just, it's trash. Like you have to have some journalistic integrity. Like I know, I know here, I, I call myself a journalist as well, DDP underscore journalist. Also shameless plug in my Twitter account, I guess. I want to be a legitimate journalist covering sports, but hopefully you guys see, I try to be as objective and unbiased. I try to let the stats, the facts, the analysis tell the story for me, and all I'm doing is seeing the data and then relaying it. I'm not posting out. I never come on here and try and go out and just say absurd stuff like a Stephen A. Smith or a Colin Coward or a Skip Bayless 
or apparently a Jason McIntyre, or whoever the hell, just to get someone to watch the video or read the article and say, wow, you're an idiot, I'm gonna comment and talk about how you're an idiot, because hey, even bad coverage and even being called out on my BS is still clicks and views and builds up my brand, ha! Huh. No, miss me with that trash. That is hack journalism and it gives real analysts and writers and people that want to do what I want to do a bad name and I hate it. It's disgusting. It's gross. And it's just, it's infuriating. I, I see uh, some people enjoying my rant over here, but it, it's infuriating. Like it really, really is because it's based in nearly nothing. Uh, let me see here. Dalton Trigg talking about uh, the game. Let's see. Okay, so now that I've had time to fully digest everything that transpired tonight, let me just say I was extremely encouraged by Dennis Smith Jr.'s return performance on both ends. Doncic was also incredible with a new career high. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, Mike Fisher talking about everything I was talking about with McIntyre. This is a three-tweet segment he had. I posted it to the Facebook page. You might have already seen it. Mavs say they don't want Luka running... Uh, running mate to stagnate his growth. Dennis Smith Jr. just led the team in assist on a night when Luka scored a season-high 34. Does that sound like he was stagnated? No. Mavs watchers. One, there's no rift between Luka and Dennis Smith Jr. Two, Dallas does not want to start J.J. Barea ahead of Dennis Smith Jr. Three, too many have taken the Mark Stein report, the accurate report, which just again said... Other execs believe this. Too many have taken that report and tried to coattail the report dramatic guesses as to what's going on. So what he means by that is people taking the accurate report saying, hey, other GMs and executives around the league believe this is what Dallas will do. And other people are trying to ride the coattails of that report as if they have an additional point or fact or something to say when they just don't. They don't. They're talking trash trying to ride the coattails of someone who actually has some real, like, clout and reputation to them. It's weak. It's trash. 99% uh, of those guesses are wrong, says Mike Fisher. So when people do that, 99% of the time, they're wrong. Finally, he says, I'm getting tons of texts, DMs, etc. from Mavs fans. This is, uh, I'll, I'll do the two sides of this conversation. Them, so them, me as in Fisher. Them. Luca and Dennis don't like each other. Says who? That's what everybody's saying. Look, it, it means nothing. Just because people are saying that because that's what the trash articles and pretty much dirt sheets going around say doesn't mean that there's truth to it. Dennis and Luca are friends. They live in the same apartment complex and they play video games. Like they are, they are they're tight. They're friends. They just need to develop chemistry on the court. And Fisher tops it off saying a little more journalistic responsibility would go a long way here. Dude's right. Dude is dead right in this case. It is, it's really, really bad how far this has gone. And again, Jason McIntyre, I don't know anything about you. Uh, I don't even know if you're ESPN or if you're Fox or what you are. All I can say is... I don't know enough to base your entire, I can't judge you as a person, I can only judge uh, the actions in this case, and I think they're trash, I think it's weak. So, uh, let me dive back into some of these comments here, I know I got on a long-winded rant. Oh, and I said Dennis Smith commented on uh, Jason McIntyre's tweet, where he claimed he talked on the radio show about this, said teammates don't love Dennis, he's selfish, they like Berea better, and that Carlisle has had to pull Smith Jr. aside and talk about this. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr., even though he wasn't tagged, found the post and commented, hashtag clown talk. That's what it is. I mean, it's weak. It's just trying to pry the guys apart because, hey, that's the exciting thing to do here. We have something legitimate with Luka, and rather than just be happy about that, we have to try and tear down other prospects because they're not there and they're not as ready as fast. The, if you're an NBA GM, you would be moronic to move on from Dennis Smith Jr. What, he's played in 20 games as a sophomore in the league? If you moved on from him 22 games or whatever into the experiment with Luka Doncic, who by the way, is supposed to be a player that makes everyone around him better, so why the hell can't he make Dennis Smith Jr. better as well? If you move on from that, 
you are a damn fool, a terrible GM, and mark my words, you will regret it because he'll flourish somewhere else and you'll be looking back two, three years down the road and saying, damn it, we had him and Luka and we screwed it up. The rebuild started two years ago. You got the two talents. Why are you throwing in the towel on one of them? You're not. The only way you would move Dennis Smith Jr. is if it was part of a deal to bring in someone like a Bradley Beal. That's the only way I think Dallas would do it, and it's the only way I would be in somewhat support of it. It's it's ridiculous to suggest that he's going to go be shipped for a bag of peanuts, and that's it. Like, it's, it's asinine. So here's... So here's my venting that I've been sitting on for two days, and I felt like I had largely kept it pretty well under the surface, but I think it's breaking out a little bit here now. 